I don't really use Microsoft Edge to surf the internet. I use Google Chrome, but I have used Microsoft Edge, but just recently found out that Microsoft Edge uses more RAM and CPU in some websites. So I just stopped using it. But there is one feature in Microsoft Edge that I actually like, and that is the reason why Microsoft Edge is still on my system, even though I know the way to uninstall it now. I've done a video tutorial on that. So this thing called Microsoft Edge Game Assist is now available for everyone. Until now, this was in beta and you had to enable it. Now you don't have to enable it. If you have Microsoft Edge installed on your system, you're done. You get the uh, Microsoft Edge Game Assist thingy. So this is how it works. Okay, let's say you're playing a Minecraft and uh, you need some help with something in your Minecraft world. You can do Windows plus G key here, you will see a new icon in the game bar called Game Assist. Just click on it. Here you can watch videos, tutorials about the Minecraft or any other game that you're trying to play. Uh, let's say for example, uh, I have the uh, chat GPT open here. What I can do is actually, <laughs> let me show you guys, this is cool. OK, I can move this window to wherever I want and make it smaller. Let's say I want to put it right there and I can have a voice conversation with ChatGPT while I'm playing the game. So I can first pin it. OK, let's say I'm playing the Minecraft. Now, let's say I'm doing something or I don't know how to make bed. What I can do is click on this. Hello, how are you? I'm back. Uh, can you tell me? how to make bed because it's night time and I'm scared. Of course, to make a bed in Minecraft, you'll need three blocks of wool and three wooden planks. Here's how you can do it. One, collect wool. You can get wool by shearing sheep with shears or by killing sheep. Sheep usually drop one to Stop. three wool blocks. I, I don't see sheeps. Where do I find them? No worries. Sheep can usually be found in grassy areas like plains, mountains, and sometimes near villages. They typically roam around in these biomes. If you can't find any sheep right now, you can also sleep in a bed once you have the materials, and that will help skip the night. Keep exploring and you'll find Stop. some soon. I found a village. I think it's a village. That's great. Villages are fantastic places to find resources. You might even find beds inside some of the houses. Is, if it, you is, see it, oh, stop. is it not guaranteed that there will be a uh, bed? It's not guaranteed, but villages usually have beds in the houses. Look around for small houses with beds inside. You can use one of those beds okay, to sleep. Okay, okay, stop. Okay, this is just one example. Whenever I'm playing the game, I can ask certain things about the game. Or you can just, you know, browse the internet alongside your gameplay. Okay, without disrupting it. And... Yeah, this is a cool feature. You can also watch videos, browse the internet. You can do whatever you want. It's just a overlay on top of your gameplay, basically. Yeah, I find it very useful. And this is the only reason why I have Microsoft Edge on my system still. I don't do browsing and stuff with it normally, but when I'm on game and I need to browse the internet or watch videos or whatever on the internet while I'm gaming, yeah, I just use the game assist. Pretty useful, in my opinion. And I, and I don't have to leave the game. That's the best part. Okay. I mean, you can use your phone alongside, like, while you're playing the game. Like, you can have your phone in front of you if that's something you prefer. I mean, maybe this is not that useful for you, but you got the idea. This is, yeah, this is useful for me, for sure. Again, you don't have to enable anything. Uh, just update your Microsoft Edge to the latest version. I think it's version 137 and above. So yeah, just update your Edge browser and uh, start using it by pressing the Windows plus G key, which will open the game bar. And there you'll see the game assist. I can just click on it and have fun. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. And one more thing I forgot to mention, we have a similar feature on Steam too. Steam has a Steam overlay thingy. And on that, 
you can also use similar feature. You can browse the internet on top of your gameplay. But Steam Overlay only works on Steam games. It doesn't work on non-Steam games. Uh, and it doesn't work with any other applications. The Game Assist works everywhere, even on the desktop. So you can use it wherever you want. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.